Well, welcome back, everyone. We're joined now by Addy Carlson. FFA, you are one of the state officers. You're a vice president here in our area. So first off, how are you doing this morning? Thanks for coming in. I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Doing pretty good. Glad to have you awesome. in. Of course, we always love to talk about, you know, area youth getting involved with agriculture and everything. Personally, as somebody who went through FFA when I was in high school, I think it's a great organization. And being a state officer, I mean, that's a, that's a big role for you. So tell us a little bit about your role within FFA. So this past um, May, I was elected to serve as an area officer, or as a state officer, excuse me. And so what that will entail is over the next 365 days um, the state officers will travel about 40,000 miles across the state of Texas um, visiting local FFA chapters maybe delivering uh, keynote speeches or leadership workshops um, at FFA events across the state um, and we also serve on the board of directors as the student leaders of the Texas FFA and so we're involved in the policy making process and as well as the student leadership part. Oh, it sounds like a lot of responsibilities for sure. And like I said, so there's there's 12 technically, you know, vice presidents of state FFA. And so you represent right here in this region. Kind of tell us what that means to represent what you call Area 1. Yes, yeah, so, so the Texas FFA is divided into 12 separate areas, and each state officer is representing an area. So myself is the Area 1 Association, and so that kind of goes from Lubbock all the way to the top of Texas, all the way over to Kwana, and has about 10,000 members within then just the Area 1 Association. And so I'll represent that on the state level among the 11 other officers from their respective areas as well. And so what does that mean to you? Because you're from this area, you, you're, you're from Vega, correct? Yes, sir. And tell us what that means for you to be able to help represent this region on the state level. It really means a lot. A community, my community is a big part of how I live and what I do. Um, I come from an agricultural background. My family is involved in production agriculture over in Death Smith County. And so I've been involved on the family farm and our beef cattle operation, you know, ever since I was really young. And so to represent my community in the Panhandle area on a state level really means a lot to me because I'm getting to showcase um, the place I call home to not only just the Panhandle but to the state and on a national level as well. Well, and I think that's a great thing for sure. And so let's talk a little more about that agricultural side. Like you said, you're going to travel, you know, all across the state of Texas. You're going to be talking to people. You're going to be, you know, providing these education resources. And why is it important to tell the general public why agriculture is so important? So the mission of the Texas FFA is to make a positive difference in the lives of students through premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education. And so ag education is a big part of what we do because a lot of these kids or a lot of citizens nowadays aren't really quite sure where the food on their plate comes from. And so our mission is to um, really promote the agriculture and help spread agricultural awareness um, to our communities and beyond because it's important that um, the knowledge on agriculture is widespread and that people become knowledgeable on where the food they eat comes from and also developing these students um, leadership skills so they can not only serve agriculture but serve their country when they graduate and go into their future careers. Oh, we think that's a great mission for sure. So if people want to kind of get in tune with what's happening with Texas State FFA, they want to learn more about what y'all are up to, what, how things are happening, where can they go online to do that? Um, so you can visit the Texas FFA website, which is texasffa.org. Um, it has all the resources um, if you are interested in learning more about our organization or how you can give back and get involved. Um, you can also keep up with myself on our professional Instagram accounts. It's at texasffa.a1so, and you can keep up with um, my journey throughout the next year and kind of see um, the events that I'll be involved this next year. Right, very awesome. So you have to go and check it out online. You got Facebook, you got Instagram on there. And so like I said, this is a, a state office that you're going to hold for the next 365 days. You've got yes, it for sir. the next year. So first off, congratulations on being elected on that. Thank you. Thank you. And so as you go throughout that year, like I said, then you're going to kind of pass the torch on to the, the vice president that follows up after you. And kind of what are some of the things you want to pass on to the, I guess, the next generation of leaders in state FFA? So one of the big things when I was in FFA and through my year of state office is to really, it's a quote that I kind of like to live by, and it's don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but rather by the seeds that you plant. And so I'm really excited for the member engagement this next year and to really have this conversation with those kids and maybe get them inspired to become more involved or more active in their FFA chapters. And so, so something I want to pass on is to really get out with those members and get involved and really tell them and encourage them that they can do whatever they want to pursue in their future endeavors. All right, I think you're well on your way to doing that, so we wish you best of luck on all your travels and all the educating you're going to be doing. And well, thank you. know that you're doing great work, and you got the Texas Panhandle right behind <laughs> you the whole way. Thank you for coming and talking to us Well, thank morning. you so much. It's been great. Of course.